Hey, if you are new here, welcome. On this channel, we are saving for the big things in life on a little budget. If you are a returning subscriber, hey, budget buds. You see, I didn't know what I was going to do with my hands. Um, welcome back to the August binge thon We are in day four. So hopefully you've been watching the videos. You are liking them, commenting, subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet. Um, I will link them in the cards. I will link them in the description. And of course, you know, watch them. And it's about to be a three-day weekend. So definitely in between maybe a show marathon or something that you're watching, go ahead and pop my videos on. Anyway... As the video states, we are going to be looking at my September calendar as well as my September monthly budget. And then I'm going to be sharing my September goals with you all. So let's dive right in. Um, we're gonna start with the budget and then we are going to be looking at the calendar. And if you hear any extra noises, y'all already know my little human okay so the stickers are from erica life vlogs i will link that in the description box below i just think her designs are really nice and so um since i am a paper budgeter i like to have these nice um accessories um just because i'm not like a doodler or i can do like fancy things with my pens and so this kind of helps you know spruce it up makes me happy about budgeting all right, so first things first, gotta know the income, gotta know what is coming in so I can allocate every single penny um, and know what is going out. So for my salary, I am a salaried employee that gets paid semi-monthly, meaning I get paid on the 15th and the last day of the month. September has 30 days and so the 15th and the 30th. I expect to bring in the same amount each time. And this amount is reflective of some things that I take out and keep private. Um, I have, uh, it's, so it's probably the child care credit and not tax, but whatever. Um, I opted to keep those payments coming because they have been so beneficial to just getting things done for Lauren. And that is in the amount of $300. And then it says rent, but I don't know how else to describe it. Uh, this is just money that my um, boyfriend gives me because we do live together and share some of those expenses. So all of this added up is $4,843.54. So this is what I anticipate or expect to come in this month. And now I'm going to show you how I break that down to get to a zero-based budget. So for my bills and expenses, rent $1081. Car, 460 so those are the larger expenses that I have. Car insurance, 153.53. If you've been watching my other budget videos, and if you pay attention that closely, you'll notice that that amount has gone down. So I'm saving about eight or so dollars um, each month in insurance. A win is a win and I'll take it. Capital One is the credit card. This is the last one with a small balance. Um, and this is the one I'm paying off. So instead of $30, this now gets $100. Uh, Walmart is going to get the minimum so that I can focus on this. Walmart is the next highest balance in my um, Snowball. And I will talk more about that when I share my debt story. My City Card, which has my largest credit card balance. I usually budget 360 and I actually got that uh, exact amount. So that's 354.65. All of my subscriptions I lumped into one. So that's 81.09. So Zoom, HBO Max, Netflix, et cetera, et cetera. Lauren gets 350. So that is the 50 that I put aside every month plus the entire 300, which I then break down for her. Um, Zeta gets $50. Yeah, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> house gets 350 i am on a journey to purchasing my first home and right now i am just showing that i am saving a set amount every month and i've been consistently doing that since february and it just feels good to see that money um accumulate i push myself to save ten dollars a week and this is an automatic transfer so this is not money that i take out it just goes straight into my savings account um and then in order to figure out the amount I have to figure out what Fridays are gonna fall within these paychecks. So I've already taken care of the 3rd and the 10th of September with my August paycheck. And these two paychecks will cover the last two weeks in September or the last two Fridays in September and the first two Fridays in October. This was just a push to save as much as I can in the sense that when I finally sat down and was real with myself about my budget, there was a lot more money left over than I thought. And I just was, I was, I was squandering it. And so I will not do this going into the new year, but this was just a nice way to push myself to think about how I spend something as small as $10, right? And I say that to mean like $10 goes a long way when you're putting it to good use. So all of this, not considering the actual, just the budgeted amount, is going to bring me to $3,155.62. It'll be a little lower just because here it's like $14.35, but you get the picture. Um, for my cash envelopes, right now I have groceries at $300, so that's a split of $150 across um, each check, and all of these are split in half. Gas is $100 spending 100 food 60 lauren 20 and miscellaneous 10. now i will say that i in when i do this for october i'm going to be adding household to this and you're going to see the amount for spending food and miscellaneous go up so this brings me a total of 590 and typically this stays the same August was a bad month and so when I closed out I just noticed lots of different numbers and just wasn't quite happy with that and numbers that were higher than this and I wasn't quite happy with that but August is over now so I'm gonna reset refocus and move on all right for miscellaneous these are just like any challenges or anything else that I need to consider so Another one of these challenges that I did before you're really getting into um, cash envelopes and the cash budgeting system, I was doing a 26, well, I am doing a 26 week challenge that is helping me put aside $1,000. And so the total for September is 134. And I'm happy to say that after this, I would only have two more uh, amounts to put aside before I reach my thousand. And I plan on putting that thousand in my, transferring it from my savings to my emergency fund. Uh, Christmas uh, was also, even though it is a sinking fund, it is an envelope that I stuff, I used a challenge to stuff it. And for the month of September, I just take all of four weeks because it's a week, it's a 52 week challenge and I bundle it up so that I can get a monthly amount and then I just split it in half across two checks. So the amount for this month is $68. I recognize that I do not like the inconsistent amounts from budget to budget. So next year when I do Christmas, I'm going to just choose a set amount and split it evenly across the checks so that it is the same amount. Um, extra payment. So this is, and it should really be debt, but so an extra debt payment is 290. That is going to help me close out Capital One and be done with it. The ultimate goal with this Capital One card is for me to pay for my subscriptions and gas so that I can get the cash rewards and then of course pay that back. But I just have to know my limitations right now and that is not something that I can be successful with. I tried it, I blew it, and I just need some more, um, need to form some better habits and I'm okay with acknowledging that. My sinking funds are going to get $470 um, and then my account buffer is $135.92. We shall see. If you watched my cash stuffing video yesterday, was that yesterday? No, that wasn't yesterday. My cash stuffing video on 
the 31st, that was Tuesday, you'll note that I added a back to bank envelope and the goal, and I've already started putting money in that back to bank envelope. So um, when the week is over, I do plan on putting that money back into the bank. So y'all pray for me because y'all know that account buffer was a dollar seventy eight. So y'all keep assisting in your prayers. So that total is $1,097.92. And so when I do the breakdown here, income $4,843.54, subtract my cash envelopes, which is $590, subtract uh, my bills and expenses, which is $3,155.62, and subtract my miscellaneous, which is $1,097.92, and it brings me to nothing left over. And I used to believe this meant that I had no money. It simply means that I have allocated every single penny and I've given it a job and I've told it where to go. And when I really think about it, savings, 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 right? And so it's like I had to really reprogram my mind to think about zero base doesn't mean zero dollars. It just means, girl... Just like how you go to work, your money is about to go to work. So guys, this is just the September budget. It's nothing fancy. I think it is wonderful. Um, and I like looking at this. And then I would use this to reference what I do for my paycheck breakdowns. All right. Now, I did this wrong. So you're looking at August. Here is September. Um, so... I put the 31st here because I did make some purchases from this check and this check is going to be the funder of anything that I do until I get paid again on the 15th. So all of my bills are in this ugly brown because that's how I feel about bills. Um, my tithe, which I don't share that amount. Rent, Capital One payment, um, all of these things I paid on this day. Uh, Walmart, my retirement, and then my Old Navy extra payment, which helped me get it down to what? Zero. I'm going to Okay, thank you. And then um, even though these should be switched, blue should be spending and red, this pinkish coral color should be uh, food. I spent $12 at Wendy's. I spent $20 at Amazon. And then today, and I got to do better with this. I need to go grocery shopping. I spent $14 at Zaxby's. So just know, and I got $2 left in that food envelope and we're not even a day, two days, three days into this paycheck. Okay. I'll look at the present in a second. Okay. So that was Wednesday. Um, so yeah, now my next bill will be car on the 5th, the 6th is Labor Day. Um, people have already started telling me that they just plan on having a lazy weekend, D versus debt. I'm with you on that. I want to have a lazy weekend too. Canva comes out on the 9th. Um, the 13th is my parents' uh, 40th wedding anniversary. So I do need to remember to pick a card up and mail it to them. And then bills start to come out again on the 15th, which is payday. And then I've accounted for all of the other expenses that I know of. Um, first day of fall, uh, Lauren has a hair appointment. I have a hair appointment. And then payday again on the 30th. So as I spend, I will update these. And the goal is to always spread out my spending as well as um, when I share my goals, I'll talk about the no spends. I'm doing this because I'm really gonna try to push myself or commit to a few days where I just don't spend anything. Um, so yeah, enough of the calendar, let's talk goals. So hopefully you all can see that. Um, really quick, cause I, I'm really trying to keep videos short. I have six goals. Um, and this little notebook is just what I use to write down everything as it relates to my channel. So goal number one, I would like to have 750 subscribers by December 31st. And you're like, Natasha, it is September goals, right? So to break down this larger goal, I'm looking to have 550 subscribers by the end of this month. So I am currently about 94... 
93 subscribers away from meeting that goal. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. My next goal is to have 2,000 watch hours by October 31st. And the September aspect of that goal is to reach 1,600 watch hours. And I am roughly um, about 130-ish hours away from that. Um, and it's just important because I want to pour into this channel um, and use this channel eventually as another source of income to, to be able to save for those big things in my life. Um, right now, I'm just having an immense amount of fun with it. And I'm enjoying that, but I still have to set goals for this channel. You know, anything you do and pour into, you got to have goals. You got to have a plan. Number three. No credit card use unless major emergency. And right now, major emergency is the car. Anything that requires if a hospitalization and, you know, not putting that in the atmosphere, but that's real. So just naming that if I need to go back and something with my parents, like get a flight, like that is a major emergency. Other than that, no credit card use. I want to have, sorry guys, five no spend days. So I know it's a 30 day month. And I just realized that I got to take baby steps, baby steps. So five out of the 30, no spend days. And if I can commit to that and I can exceed meet and exceed that goal, then I know I can set the goal maybe to six no spend days or seven no spend days the next month. But October is a is a busy, busy month. So I don't, I don't know. We'll see. I would like to connect and or collab with another member of the budget uh, budgeting community. Um, Y'all are some awesome individuals, right? Especially my budget buds. Y'all are like A1 top notch and some of the sweetest people that I have virtually met. <laughs> and I would love for you all to get to know me more and I would love to get to know you all more and start to just build a stronger community as we grow and are moving our way to financial freedom and debt freedom and all of that good stuff. Y'all are some wonderful people, absolutely. And then last but not least, pay off Capital One. So stay focused on my debt payoff, put, making sure that I put any extra funds towards that. Also, money left over in my cash envelope automatically gets rolled over to debt with the exception of the miscellaneous envelope and the Lauren envelope. Miscellaneous just rolls over in my wallet and Lauren's money rolls over to her cash reserve that I use for, you know, little things for like school or whatever the case may be. So my no spend days means that I can have money potentially left over to really start paying down this debt. Um, And guys, that's it. Those Those are the goals. And I'm really going to be working hard and paying attention day to day and keeping these at the forefront of my mind so that I have a better month than the last and can set myself up to have a better rest of the year as we are moving towards the end of 2021. Tune in tomorrow for the bonus video, please. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Your support um, of this channel is absolutely free. And so I would love to have you be a budget bud. Um, and just for us to, to build and have a good time together. Um, that's it. I will see you guys again on Friday. And then after that, I'll take a little break and then you'll see me again when it is time to break down my budget for, or break down my paycheck for the first check of September. You guys are absolutely great as always. And I will see you in the next one. Bye budget buds. Wait, wait.